high gas prices, the worst inflation in 40 years, a violent crime wave, chaos at the border. It's not funny. And later, before you have that garage sale, you'll want to find out why this so-called cheap vase may be worth a thousand times more than what the original owner paid for it. All of that and more coming up next right here on News On. Happy Friday. Congratulations. You made it. Welcome to this edition of News On. I'm Miranda Khan. We begin today with a new jobs report just out today showing that more than 400,000 jobs were apparently added last month, exceeding expectations and a very tight labor market. Additionally, the unemployment rate held at a low three and a half percent and wages increased more with the rate of inflation for the last month. But the numbers that indicate positive growth are confusing in a time when you, you know, the average American, well, maybe don't feel so positive about the economy and it's hitting you and your pocketbook. And the one senator liber- knows that. The same liberal Democrats and media elite who falsely attack Senator Johnson for exposing the truth are laughing it up in Washington while America is dangerously off track. Record high gas prices, the worst inflation in 40 years, a violent crime wave, chaos at the border. It's not funny. Senator Ron Johnson is fighting to get inflation under control. Ron Johnson is fighting for law and order. Ron Johnson is fighting for freedom and for us. All right, there you just saw Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson use the jokes made at the correspondence dinner that just happened this past weekend as a way to show how out of step he thinks Hollywood and the government are when it comes to the economy and the real impact it's having again on you, real Americans. Joining us live now to discuss this more is CEO and founder of Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo. Good to see you again, my friend. Happy Friday. So, Melissa, we have even more examples later of the negative effects that Americans are experiencing as a result of this post-pandemic economy, but then we know that these reports about great unemployment rates and added jobs keep coming out. So help us break this down. How can these two factors coexist? It's very interesting right now what's happened since COVID is less people are working. So today was a mixed report, as you previously stated. The negative thing about today's report, and one of the reasons why the market's falling right now today still, is because there is a lot of people that are still not back in the workforce and working. So we have all these job openings, and then we have people that don't want to come back to work. And part of it is too much stimulus, too much stimulus for the last two years. And now I think we're creating a society where people don't feel like they have to work or they're not as motivated to work. And remember, the United States of America is a place where we pride ourselves on being a productive country. We're the number one country in the world. We have to work. I don't care what age you are, 20, 30, 40, 50, people need to be working full time. And unfortunately, right now, since COVID, some people were scared to go back to work. Some people just didn't want to go back to work. And some people feel like, listen, I'm getting enough money that I don't need to work. And so that has created problems for anybody that's going out that's a consumer. If you go to a store here in New York, lots of times there isn't enough people there in the store to even wait on you anymore. And that's a problem. Yeah, and I've seen that here in in Florida, and I'm sure some of the viewers are probably nodding their head as you were saying that, saying we've seen it here as well. I want to get to the stock market in just a moment, but we know it's Mother's Day this weekend. Reminder, everyone, send flowers, card, you know, the works. Mom deserves it. But new mothers may be feeling more stressed than ever because the country's baby formula shortage, creating empty shelves everywhere now. Moms say that the issue now isn't just finding the brand you like, but just finding anything at all. And other women say that even trying to order on Amazon is proving futile because the orders are just, they're just getting canceled. The shortages started with the supply chain issues, but now recalls are obviously exasperating the problem. Melissa, some others are calling for some kind of political action, in fact, to help with this. Is that even an option? I I don't think that's going to happen, but I think this is across the board with many, many products that you're trying to get right now at the supermarkets or online, even on Amazon things are back ordered, things aren't available. Again, it's a problem with the labor force where they're not producing, or there could be 
a problem since COVID restrictions. Remember, there's parts of the world right now that are still shut down because of new COVID variants. All of this is affecting the supply chain. And again, if, if companies want to produce a product and want to sell it and can't get the supplies to sell it, that of course is a problem where they can't make the money to sell it. That affects the overall economy. We just got done most of the earnings that would affect the overall market have reported, even though it's still our second quarter earnings season. And a lot of them forecasted not so good uh, outcomes for the remainder of 2022. So I think it's gonna be a rough year for companies, not just that sell baby products, but companies across the board when they wanna sell things, if they can't get the labor to make it and they can't get the actual product to, to make it. Yeah, and again, I want to go back to the stock market. You mentioned it's it's down again. Uh, this after it, it just tanked uh, yesterday, uh, following the you know the Fed's announcement of raising interest rates again another half percentage right there. Uh, but we expect uh, even more increases, uh, several more. Real quickly, this is your territory. Uh, what does this overall mean for average day real Americans? Well, it's a problem when rates go up, because when the rates go up, then economic growth slows. And so the market doesn't like rates going up so quick, so fast. And that's what's going to happen this year. And the reason that the Fed is doing that is because they think that it's going to curb inflation and stop a recession. I happen to disagree. One of the reasons, again, that we're in an inflationary period is because we're having supply chain issues. And again, we don't have enough workers back at work. So I think we're getting into a, a real problem for the market this year where it's going to it's going to intersect where you have things costing more and you also have rising rates. It's called an inflationary recession. That's something that's negative for markets. And that's why markets are selling off. But this is profit taking, though, because the markets have had a nice run up really since Trump was elected yeah. in 2016. So a lot of people are at money, but it is scary for people to see the market sell off the way it has in the last 24 to 48 hours. We're going to continue to monitor it, as I know you will. Uh, Melissa Armo, thank you so much, and enjoy your Mother's Day weekend. Thank you, you too. Still ahead on this edition of News On, you might have a lot of questions about this draft, you know, that was leaked from SCOTUS regarding abortion. We've brought in an expert to help us break it all down, and that is the one, the only Dr. Wendy Patrick. That's coming up next. We'll be right back. 